today I'm going to be showing you how to do a textured blow dry on short hair. If your client has fine hair, we're going to add texture and volume. If she's got coarse hair, we're going to take out some of the frizziness but still keep some of the texture in to give us that body to the hair. And for this blow dry, the hair needs to be soaking wet. Especially if someone has a lot of texture to their hair, you really want to work with the hair wet to stop, that to stop the hair pattern from performing before you start your blow dry. Don't forget to use the towel to protect your client's clothes. When you start your blow dry, you want to make sure the hair is really clean and that there's no products in there because you're going to want to add your own products in. And if you do find that the hair is at all greasy, this won't work. So they will need to wash their hair again. Now the hair is wet, I'm just going to comb through, mainly to smooth out, but also just to see if there's any hair patterns forming that we want to get rid of. So if the hair is starting to move a certain way, now is a good time to keep brushing it out so the hair is lying exactly where you want it to be. We will be able to use a brush in the top bits of this hair, but at the bottom you'll be relying on your comb to smooth out the hair and get it to be exactly where you want it. When you're looking at shorter haircuts, you can usually see that it's been cut in a specific way so the hair sits where it's supposed to be. Quite often, when you start to blow dry, you will see the hair forming into the shape that your client already loves to wear it. Where this will be slightly different is adding the texture that she might not usually have because it's a special occasion. French Girl Hair by L'Oreal. This is a really great texturizing spray and holds styles really well too. I'm using the texture spray because Maggie has fine hair. If someone had a coarser hair, you wouldn't need the texture spray. You might use something more to smooth the hair out. Then at the end, if you do want to add a bit more texture in, a hairspray would be good for that. But the Techniart List control is really great for smoothing out hair. If you're using this product for a blow dry, it's best used on wet hair because it will really smooth out the hair for you and help you get that cuticle laying nice and flat. I'm going to go through the hair in sections and just spray them. You can give it a bit of a massage and make sure it's well distributed through the hair. I'm really going to work that product in to the hair. Using the Parlux Compact 3200 with the fine nozzle, I'm just going to give the hair a blast. I'm not going to take off hardly any of the moisture, but just a tiny bit to get us started. When I'm rough drying, I use a medium heat and a medium blast just to take a little bit of the moisture out. Maggie has very fine hair, so we're just going to take a little bit of the moisture off, about 20%. As Maggie's hair is fine, we don't have to do too much directional work to get it to sit where we want. It's quite straight and doesn't really have too many kinks to it. As we start to blow dry the bottom, I'm just going to brush some of the hair to the side. Just put a little sectioning clip in there, just to hold it while we start the bottom part of our blow dry. Using the comb, I'm just directing the hair where I want it to go using a low heat and a medium speed, just getting the hair dry and getting it to sit in the right place. Have a stop to check if the hair is sitting where it needs to be. Don't be afraid to use your fingers here. It's really good to use your hands to get a feel for where the hair wants to sit. Even when you move it, you'll see that it's, it just kind of finds its natural position. You can really lift the hair up at the roots to get body in. So put your fingers into the hair and over direct the hair to get the body and volume that you need. Don't be afraid to really manipulate the hair 
and push it up and really get that body. So you can really lift the hair up and get that heat onto the roots to get maximum root lift into your blow dry. Keep picking up the hair and keep directing the heat upwards. If you want to start adding the body into the hair, depending on how much body your client wants, you can start here over directing the hair. The more you over direct the hair, the bigger blow dry you're going to get. If your client doesn't want a lot of body, then you can continue with the comb, just using your hair dryer and pushing the hair downwards so it all lies nice and smooth. Again, check to see where the hair's lying, where it wants to fall. Using a medium heat and speed, you can really lift the hair up. Don't be afraid to get your fingers in and work with the hair. When you're doing your blow dry, you can work with sections exactly the same way you would be as if you were putting the hair up. So you have the back of the hair, uh, the crown, the sides and the front of the hair. So you can use that sectioning pattern to keep you on track with your blow dry. Here I just want a bit of smoothness on top. So I'm going to go in with my fine tooth comb and just direct some heat downwards. I'm going to go through the longer sections of hair with my head hugger's brush, again over directing, keeping the hair nice and high to get some volume into the hair. I'm just going to take the top layers of hair over to the side and clip them out of the way. If you feel the hair is feeling really fine or you feel like it's going to need a little bit more grip, you can add a bit more product here. Make sure when you're blow drying the hair, you twist the nozzle into a position that's comfortable for you to hold. Your nozzle and your hair dryer should be at the same angle. You can pick up small sections of hair and really over direct them to get the body into the blow dry. Keep going round the head, picking up small sections of hair and if you feel you need a little bit of extra volume, you can just keep your brush in, and just hold it while the hair cools down and then pull it out. Working at the sides, you can do the same thing. Put your brush into the hair, get the hair nice and hot, and then just hold the brush in while the hair cools down and this will give you an extra bit of volume. You can also use the cold shot just to speed things up and cool down the hair faster and that will help get volume into the hair too. You don't have to be too particular about your sections. You can just go around the head picking up hair and adding volume where you need it. Using your fingers, make sure the hair is really dry because any moisture will take out the volume that you've put in. unclip the hair. You can also check with your client here in the mirror where they like to wear their parting. Zigzag. Okay, that's what it's done actually. <laughs> so that's perfect. So now I'm going to go through with the brush again and just really get some root lift in here and set the roots with the cold shot. Again, you don't have to be too particular with your sections. Just get into the roots and lift up the hair to get the volume in. Don't forget your cold shot to really set that volume. Using the cold shot will really help you get lift, volume and shine into your blow dry. Moving onto the front sections, really lift that hair up. Make sure you get plenty of volume in there because you can always adjust it later if you want to take some of that volume out. But really smooth the hair down here. Use your fingers again to work with the hair and get some texture in there. Don't be afraid to use your fingers when you're doing these blow dries, it's so important. You can get even more root lift here if you push the hair onto the opposite side of the parting and really dry that hair well. So when you flip it back to the other side, there's plenty of volume in there for you to work with. 
just use your fingers and the dryer to really find where that hair wants to sit. You'll see it falls beautifully on its own without you having to do too much. The hair looks lovely and we're getting plenty of movement into this blow dry. A little bit more lifting at the roots. You can really hold that hair and make sure that that root lift sets. Now onto the front section. Same again, keep lifting and finding where the fringe wants to sit. This is also a good time to ask your client where she likes it to be. When you're working with the fringe, you'll find that your client definitely has a way she likes to wear her hair. So now is a good time to check to see how far over she likes to wear it or if to the side or slightly in the middle. How do you like it, Maggie? Um, all, side. all of it and the few pieces. Yeah. Perfect. So when I was drying Maggie's hair, I found that using fingers was a really good way to get the body in. We don't have to worry about smoothing too much because she's already got really lovely smooth straight hair. So what we're really looking to do is get the body and texture in. So we're gonna lift the hair up again using our fingers. Really lift the hair again and over direct it to get that body and volume in. Take the hair right over to the other side and keep drying it to get those roots nice and dry. You can hold the hair straight up again to get more volume. At the sides, you can use your fingers to really push the hair where your client wants it to lay. Keep lifting it and pushing it in. You can also use the brush to just go back in if there's any pieces you want to be slightly smoother. Once you've got the texture in, the brush will help you to smooth the sections out again. If you keep your brush moving all the time, you will get plenty of smoothness and shine to the hair. Don't forget to adjust the nozzle if you're finding it hard to work with the hair. Sometimes changing the direction of the nozzle will make it more comfortable for you and you'll find that you can get to the roots better. So now I'm just checking to make sure all the hair is lying nicely in its cut. You can see at the back here, when you move the hair, it will just sit exactly where it's cut to. So you can see, you just have to flick it. To add a bit more texture, a little bit of light hold hairspray. I'm just gonna go through the style and pick up pieces of hair and just spray them. Also see here if we need any more body at the back. And you can really work that hairspray in to the hair to give it some texture. A little bit further over. Mm -hmm. Maggie likes her pieces up at the front to be a little bit smoother. So I'm gonna show you what to do if we've maybe got a bit too much volume and we need to take some of that down. So use your slowest speed and your medium heat. Use your round brush to go back in and really smooth the sections out. Keep the brush moving and that will help you get that real nice smoothness and shine to the section. If your client did want a lot more height, you could use a little bit of paste or gel right at the end. Just put some on your hand, and really work it in. Okay, so we're gonna work the product into our hands. I'm just gonna pick up the hair and we're just gonna massage it in. And that'll give you more texture. And if you wanted to, mm -hmm. at the end, <laughs> you could set the hairstyle with a bit more stronghold hairspray just because it has to last all day through the wedding or the event. So just finish the hairstyle with a little bit of extra hairspray for hold. And you're all done. <laughs> enjoyed this tutorial just click like and subscribe and join me on my next video